Uh, we actually are, we're going to be talking about the big Fed rate hike, Fed rate hike, um, head amid early signs, hot inflation is peaking. April 29th, U.S. Federal Reserve policymakers took or look set to deliver a series of aggressive interest rate hikes, at least until the summer to deal with hot inflation and surging labor costs. Surging labor costs, something I told you guys, comes along with deflation, okay? Even as two reports Friday show tentative signs, both may be cresting. Sharper higher food and gas prices lifted overall inflation to a new 40-year high, 6.6% in March. Uh, and more than triple the Fed's target, hot inflation is why the central bank is widely expected to ramp up the pace of rate hikes with a half-point increase at each of its next three meetings. Con uh, contracts tied to the Fed's policy rate now show heavy bets on interest rates rising to a range of 3 to 3.25% by the end of the year. Um, but the inflation measured, uh, measure tracked most closely by the central bank is a signal of underlying price pressures known as the core personal consumption expenditures price index sl sl uh, slowed slightly to 5.2%. So are we starting to see maybe a peak here? Uh, let's see. Our several reports showed employees jacked up benefits to attract historically scarce workers, accelerating the pace of employment cost increase to 4.5% and underscoring the Fed's view that the labor market is extremely and perhaps unhealthily tight. But private wage growth leveled off at 5%. The reports won't stop the Fed from hiking by 50 bips next week, but it supports our view that inflation will fall a little more quickly this year uh, than Fed officials now appear to expect. Well, the better, the, the faster this happens, the better, you know, yeah. uh, maybe, maybe the worse for prices in the short term. See, that's what I wish they would just accept. Like, we just need to get this pain over with. It's not going to be fun. It's going to be ugly, but let's do it, and then we can move forward. The problem is they're always trying to keep that pain from happening, and that's what gets us in a stickier and stickier situation. No. Scary, scary charts looking yes. at here. Uh, I, I tell you, you know, you, you go back and you think about you think about what happened uh, with the pandemic, mm -hmm. right? And then we think about stuff we've talked about, uh, World Economic Forum, mm -hmm. right? Great reset stuff, all real. If you guys haven't seen our great our reset video, which today we're actually filming uh, our next BitBoy special. This will be uh, on very scary weapon that's on your phone. But the idea is there's going to be a great reset coming. Well, are we not seeing it in front of our very eyes right now? Mm -hmm. Does it? Does it not feel like the world is totally different today than it was two years ago? Yes. A little over two years ago, actually. The world is changing in terms of employment, in terms of how people go to work, yep. how people want to work. And, and I've said this before, it's like people finally woke up one day and were like, oh, the crappiest jobs that nobody wants to do pay the least? Mm -hmm. Well, that's weird. Well, so almost like it should be the other way around. Almost. Like nobody wants to do it, so you should have to pay more for that. Yeah. And they talk uh, at the group we go to for CEOs, they talk about the great resignation a lot mm -hmm. when they're talking about the labor yep. force. This is something I saw Gary Vee talking about a week or two ago. He's like, if you're worried about the great resignation, you're not even thinking about the great never applied. You know, all these young kids that are 16, 17, 18, 20 in college, they're like, yeah, I'll just make TikToks and do brand deals rather than work at Payless Shoes yeah. or, you know, whatever, McDonald's. Well, we're, we're, we're going to see this much faster move over to, uh, you know, AI running things. You know, that's, that is probably the next big thing we're going to see is a wave of industries being taken over by AI. Yep. Uh, your fast food restaurants. I mean, guys, it probably won't be too long until we have a fast food restaurant that doesn't have a person, period. Or like one person back there to like push a few buttons and keep everything going. Do it they, remote, don't, maybe. they don't ever interact yeah. with the public. Yeah. yeah. So what where we're seeing with unemployment rates right now, and and it's so weird. We've never seen unemployment rates that were high along with people not being able to hire workers. Like, let me tell you, if you own a business, if you own a small business or a medium-sized business and you're trying to hire people, it's extremely hard. I mean, we have guys at our C12 meeting every week that say, we just can't hire anybody. Nobody work. And they can't find people. It's a much different market for jobs than we've seen before. Uh, and, you know. Especially uh, entry-level positions. Yeah. And then a lot of stuff with the supply chain. Seems yeah. like that's changed forever as well.